Hi. Today I thought I would show you some um, decks from Ellen Lorenzi Prints and um, Tara the Crone is out of print. Minoan Tarot is still in print. Dark Goddess Tarot is mass market. And then I have this new one, which is the Greek Goddess Tarot. And it just came out. Uh, it was pre-order that I got, I think around the beginning of October last year. But it is now on the website. On Ellen Lorenzi Prince, Princess website. And I thought I would do this because her decks go out of print really fast. And so um, I thought maybe people would like to see it and maybe get it if they liked it before it went out of print. And then I thought I might try and do some pairings um, with this deck to see what might go because I'm going to use it next month. And I've used it a little but not much. All right. I'm going to start off with Tarot of the Crone. And I'm sure you guys might have already seen this. This one is the small version. There's also a version that's in a black bag that's a larger, um, larger card. So these are out of print. I keep wondering why um, that we haven't seen a mass market version. But, you know, maybe it's that she's going to print another version. Anyway, I just thought I would show you these. I absolutely love this deck. This is one of my favorite decks of all time. Um, and I've been using it just to do my moon readings. My, um... Not really on a daily basis anymore because oh a few years ago I switched over and just started using it mostly for my new moon readings and um I've been thinking about switching it back into circulation because I kind of miss it and I get to use it every month but I don't get to use it as much as I'd like so I think I might switch this and put it back in my circulation Anyway, it is a really great deck. Kind of hard to get at the moment. Hopefully, it will either have a reprint or maybe she will... Oh, I love this card. The Priestess card. I just think it's so cool with the stones. Um, or she may decide she's doing another reprint. But hopefully, it's not out of print forever. But... Just thought I'd show it in case anybody sees it come up on a trade group or anything, and they might like it. And because I got a new one of her decks, I just thought, why not show them all? And probably anything she ever did, I would try and get. Anyway, beautiful deck, really fun, really different. Um, and the cards have a little bit different interpretation. And you do need the guidebook on this one. But it comes with a guidebook, and you could just use the guidebook that comes with it. There's also a little bit bigger guidebook that has some poetry and things in it. But uh, that one's harder to find. This deck you see come around quite a bit. It's not always cheap, but it does come up in the trade groups. All right. That is the Tarot of the Crone. And this is the box version. Okay, next, show the Minoan Tarot. This is also a cool deck. And it, um, instead of the suits, it uses sea, earth, air, fire. Um, this is a fish that uh, we used to see in Hawaii 
called Wahoo, or over there we called it Ono. Um, and they're kind of fighter fish. Kind of cool. Let's try strength. And the courts are renamed, but it's pretty easy to figure this one out. This one is still in print. This is also a cool deck. Um, I do like the artwork on her decks. Visionary. So, um, in the Minoan period, the Greeks saw the butterfly as a visionary of the soul. Um, and that kind of continued even after the Minoan era. This is a cool card. And this one hasn't gone out of print yet. And I think you can get this one and the Greek goddess tarot um, together for a cheaper rate so you can get a deal on them. Anyway, this is definitely of an era, but a cool deck. Her decks are pretty powerful, and the guidebooks are good, and they look at things a little bit differently, and it's nice because it gives you a different perspective and helps you see the cards a little differently. I always like that. I like new perspectives on things. All right, there we go. That was the Minoan. I am going over to the coast in a couple days, so I thought I would bring the Greek goddess with me. And I thought now would be a fun time to show you some of Ellen's decks, because a couple of them are available. This one's available mass market, which is awesome. I think I showed this one before. Uh, this is a cool goddess. Skata. Um... Celtic goddess. She was kind of a fighting goddess. I don't know a ton about her, but I think a uh, pretty cool card there for Six of Air. Anyway, this deck is a beautiful deck and luckily available mass market, which is fantastic. Picate. And just a lot of different cultures in the goddesses in this deck. Oh, I always like new pretty picture there. Lady of the Lake, that's a cool one too. A lot of cool ones. Breed, that's really cool. Um, a lot of cool um, goddesses in this deck. And pretty inclusive, very beautiful. And this, um, I tend to just draw a card and use it for a week or a month. I haven't used it that much as an actual tarot, even though you could. Pele, <laughs> that's where I'm from. So I always get excited when Pele's in a deck. Because I um, grew up on Oahu, but lived for a long time on the Big Island, where we always honored Pele, so much a part of the culture there. Pythia. And that is the Dark Goddess Tarot. I'm not great at picking these up here. And the mass market one, instead of the white titles here, um, it has like a gold little insert and then has the, the names of everything. 
Not that different, actually. All right. Now I'm going to show you the Greek goddess tarot. And this one's a little bit different. This one came in a bag instead of a box. And it didn't have an option to get a box for this one. Who knows? Maybe some later version will. But this is a neat one. Um, actually, this one, I think I am going to show you and try and pair it with some different decks. Because I think this one might be kind of hard to pair. So... I'm going to start out with life design cards. Oops. The life design cards come in a box like that. This may not work. Actually, I'm not having high hopes for this one. Mm, the colors are okay. Leap of Faith. Between nine of green and sticks. <laughs> That's interesting. Creative, creativity, work with change. Between the nine of arrows and anarchy, the devil. Um, maybe it's just too modern. The colors are good, which is, oh, look at that. That's kind of funny. Um... The colors are pretty good. It's not terrible. But it's pretty different in style. I don't hate it, though. Could be worse. Not my favorite. All right. Let's try something else. How about... Oracle, the Guardian Sacree, which is in a box like this. It's one of my French decks. Comes with a nice guidebook. Maybe totally the wrong style, but we'll see. Yeah, kind of like this one. Certainly don't hate it. Oh, that doesn't go very well. Wow, card. Oh, but that one's okay. The Guardian de Montage, Montagna. Um, that one looks pretty with it. That's kind of cool. That's a cool card. This is pretty new deck. Uh, some of these are kind of cool, but the style's a little wrong. I like that. Um on its own, but I don't like it with the cards. That one kind of goes. Yeah, it's not great with it. So let's say no to that. Oh, this is a cool deck. Um, I could just go to try more flower decks try the burning serpent oracle this it comes in a box it's a robert place deck and it is kind of um a lenormand but uh it's a little different I do kind of think this one looks better with it. Yeah, it's kind of good with it, actually. Mm hmm, kind of like that. It's definitely better. It's the best one so far. And the style seems pretty good. And the path in between the Ten of Grain and Champion of Cups. Perfect. All right. I think this one's a yes. I could use it. Okay. That's good news. All right. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try a flower deck. Okay. 
Stir the floor. This is a Grimond deck. It, I think, is out of print, though. But you could use any flower deck. In fact, I have... Where is my deck? That, mm, I don't know where it is right now. I have an American version that's still in print. Ah, this is good. I like this. That's a funny card. <laughs> I think this one goes nicely. Okay, found another one I could use. All right, maybe I will look for the American version of cards. All right, I found it, and it is the Hedgewitch Botanical. And this probably looks good with it, too. And this is in print. It does. I think because of the white. Because the white borders and then... The white space on there. Um, I think this one looks great too. I think they all look nice. But this is harder to find. It might be easier to find it if you're in France or in Europe. This one's probably Easier to get mass market though, because this is a mass market deck. All of those look pretty awesome together. I think sometimes when you have a deck that's hard to pair, it is easier to pick a flower oracle or a tree oracle or something. Anyway, those are good. I like those. Yeah, I box is falling apart here. That's okay. And on the hedge, which I don't think I ever heard, heard had the box on this. I got this, uh, I think in a swap, but it does have a hardcover book. Okay. And let me try tree wisdom cards. Because maybe that's easy. Hmm. It's not terrible. It's not perfect. Oh, those colors look good together, though. Yeah, it's pretty okay, though. It can work. Not, but not bad. Huh, the blue, that looks nice. And I like this because there's just one word, potential. Thea, ten of grain. Balance, six of arrows and queen of cups. Yeah, this is pretty good, actually. All right, I'll try something else. That is the Tree Wisdom Cards by Lisa McLaughlin Art. Uh, let's try Plant Ally Cards, also by Lisa McLaughlin. Mm, somehow this just isn't as good. I don't like that one. That's a no for me. It's interesting. You'd think they'd be similar, but I think the cards are just too much in that. Uh, what else do I have? I'll try the Australian wildflower reading cards with it. This is a cool deck. 
This is the bar box. This is a mass market deck. Well, I kind of like this. This seems kind of great. Different styles, but it seems to go well. Love between three, uh, nope, between Champion of Arrows and Nine of Cups. That's kind of cool. And Acceptance between Five of Arrows and Ace of Swords. Guidance between the Devil and, and I put the cards back under. You've probably seen all these cards by now. Strength between Death and the Nine of Arrows or Sticks, the River Sticks. That's good, actually, I like that. Attainment between Seven of Cups and Nine of Grain. I like the messages with that. Well, that's pretty good too. All right, uh, I think that's probably enough. That'll work. Yeah, that's actually paired with things a little better than I expected. All right. Hope you're all doing well, and hopefully this was a little bit fun. I wanted to take this deck with me, so I just thought it'd be fun to see what pairs with it. It's got a small white book and is available right now. I will link her website down below, so if you guys are interested in this deck or the Minoan or both, you could get them. All right, uh, take care and have a good evening.